Here we go with some level three. The issue with the level three is it's going to come at you from multiple directions. It's basically taking you back to nets. You remember what nets are? Yeah. They're like two-dimensional things, but now instead of drawing a net, we're going to construct it. So we're constructing a pyramid with the base of a square at S equals 16 centimeters, and then we're going to add isosceles triangles with base at 16 centimeters and height at 17 centimeters. So to sketch it, what that basically means is that we've got a square. So how long would each one of these sides be? 16. And then isosceles. Do you guys know what isosceles triangles are? Like, yeah. They're not congruent. They're not. What, what's congruent in isosceles? The same, the same angle. Which ones are the same, though? The ones are equilateral. It's not equilateral. If it was equilateral, it would say equilateral. How is isosceles different? Congruent. Two sides are the same, one side is different. So for these ones, the isosceles ones, which ones do you think will be the same? Do you think it'll be this is the same as one of these? Do you think these two are the same as each other? Yeah, that's true. Okay. Now let's let's analyze this. Those are the same. Do we know how long they are right now? No, no. No. What we know is that the height of this triangle is 17, right? So this, the height means this distance right here. That's, no, that's the side height, isn't it? It's the slant height of the pyramid. Mm -hmm. You're right. But we're talking about the triangle. Mm -hmm. so he really caught on to something there. You guys get that, though? Yeah. The height of this triangle will end up being the slant height of the pyramid. Can you all picture that? Yeah. So he's right. He, he actually just kind of solved the riddle. But that's 17. That's how we read it. The height of the triangle will be equal to the slant height of the pyramid. You're exactly right. All right, so a little thing about constructing an isosceles uh, triangle. Here's what you do. We'll take our side length, which will be 16. Let's do it right here. So that's going to be the height, right? Or sorry, that's the base. So what I'm going to do in order to make, make sure that I'm doing the height right down the middle which construction would make the most sense here? Remember? Ooh, bisector. Yep, which one? What's that one called? Perpendicular. Perpendicular bisector is going to help me get it right down the middle. You guys able to understand that one? So I'm going to do a perpendicular bisector to my original segment. And then how high up do I have to go? 17. 17. So if it intersects here at 8, I will go up to 25. So that's the height. And then I make the triangle like this. So what you do is you do the base, you do a perpendicular bisector to the base, and you measure the height. So what's this distance here? 17. 17 is correct. Okay. Uh, do we need to know this distance? Uh, yeah. do, we, does it, do we actually need to know it? Yeah, we do know. Does it ask us in the problem what the yeah. side lengths are here? Yeah. What does it ask us? It asks no, us to no. find S, and S, H, slant height. So like Alex said, this is the slant height, isn't it? Yeah. Is this any of them? Can't what picture it? It's already there. Okay. That's, the, uh, that's, that's the height and that's the slant. I'm glad that we're confused. Okay. No um, by connect. the way, so once you cut out once you cut out one, what's a quick way to make three more? Can you just trace them? Yeah. Sure. So construct one, just like we did here, and then trace three more. So as you can see actually. This had the perpendicular bisector on it. So that's how I constructed this one. And then I made three more. Is everybody up to date on that? Mm -hmm. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to make a pyramid. So for your level three, you're actually going to make a pyramid and a cone. As I make my pyramid, you guys, if you want to come closer to see, you can come closer to see, because uh, I really couldn't do it much bigger than this. I didn't have any paper bigger than this. But um, 
What do we know right now? Do we know the height or the slant height or the side length? What do we know? We know the slant height. Do we know the side length? No, not yet. Really? Think about it. Six. Yeah. Wait, not six. Sixteen. Sixteen. It's sixteen, right? So, when I fold this up into place, I can connect it. Okay, so this makes the pyramid. I want you to think about the height of this triangle. Is that the height or the slant height of the pyramid? If you look at it, the height here, is that the height or the slant height of the pyramid? It's the slant height. Is this the height of the pyramid? No. Is it anything? No. It's nothing that we care about, right? So we don't have to solve it. But we do have to solve the height. So now, to help us solve the height, it helps to have a sketch. So we're going to do a sketch. The way you do a sketch of a pyramid is you start with two parallel lines and you connect them. Put a point above, basically it's a parallelogram. You put a point above and you attach. Out of the corner? Yep. And you make the one that's in that corner dotted. And you've got a pyramid. Okay, now going back to our base here, what is our side length? 16. 16. So this is 16. What's this? 16. 16. Okay. Um, do we know the slant height? Yes. yes. Yeah, what's yes. the slant height here? 17. 17. Okay. Now the question is how to find the height. So how are we going to figure out the height? The Pythagorean theorem. The theorem. What is this distance Eight. right here? Eight. Eight. Are there any questions about that? No. It's half of 16, right? Yeah. So you do the Pythagorean theorem. We get 8 squared plus height squared equals 17 squared. 64 plus height squared equals 289. Height squared equals 225. Height equals 15. So, what is S here? 16 what? Units. Centimeters. What's height? It's 15 centimeters. And what's the slant height? 17 centimeters. Okay. The surface area is going to be equal to uh, the area of the base. So what's 16 times 16? 256 plus um, 2s times h. So everybody, can you tell me what's 16 times 17? Write it down. 16 times 17. What is it? 272. And we have to multiply that by 2. So what's 2 times 272? 544. So what we get is 256 plus 544. We get exactly 800 centimeters squared. And last, volume. One third times the area of the base, which is 256 over 1 times, what's the height here? 15. Shh. Quiet, please. Reduce the 3 with the 15. This becomes a 5. We end up with 256 times 5. What's 256 times 5? Mm -hmm. 1,280 uh, centimeters cubed is correct. All right, so the construction is not very hard, but it helps you visualize. All right, last one we've got, construct a cone with a circular base at r equals 5. At a wall, oh, you know what, this is actually supposed to be 4. Sorry about that, 4 inches for that. At a wall with radius 5 and 72 degree sector removed. Here's what that means. Um, 
this circle has a four inch radius. So that means the distance from the center to the edge is four inches. Second, what I did is I make a circle with how, what, what's the radius for this one? Five. Five inches. And then what I do is I measure an angle in the middle of how many degrees? 72. 72. Okay, so it's a Pac-Man basically. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um, what I do is I attach it like this. And guess what's gonna happen? Oh, it's gonna fit perfectly over this. In other words, this distance here is exactly equal to the circumference of this circle. Okay, I'll give you a mathematical explanation for why that is, um, but that takes a little bit longer. Um, but it has to do with that 72 degrees. Quickly, what's uh, 360 divided by 72? Anybody? 360 divided by 72. What seems to fit? Five is correct. For that reason, four is four fifths of five. Therefore, one fifth of five will be 72 degrees. That's the difference. I'll give you more of an explanation later. But anyway, here's my, here's my cone. Does everybody see my cone? What do you think will be the height of this cone? Can anybody visualize? So let's think about it. It helps to draw it. So here's how you draw a cone, real simple. Draw an oval, put a point above it, connect. Do we know the radius of this circle? Yes. What is it? Four. Four. Do we know the slant height? Think back. Think back to our Pac-Man. What was the radius Five. of our Pac-Man? Five. Five. Is that equal to the, the yeah, slant height of the cone? Yeah. 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 It is. So this here is five. So how are we going to find the height of this cone? Pythagorean theorem again. So it's going to be x squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared. x squared plus 16 equals 25. x squared equals 9. x equals 3 inches. I want you guys to just appreciate that that's actually true. I'm going to put this inside. And what do you see? Three it's three inches tall. Okay. Now, I appreciate those of you who are really trying to understand this. This is some pretty advanced geometry. Starting with that 72 degree angle, figured out how to construct a perfect net of a, of a cone and anticipate that the height would be three inches tall, which it was perfectly. Okay, so let's fill this out. What's the radius of our circle? Four. Four, Four what? Inches. inches. What's the height of our cone? Oh, three, three inches. Three inches. Yes. Good. What's the slant height of our cone? Five, Five, Five inches. Five inches. Okay. The surface area is going to be the area of the base. Four. Oh. Which is pi times four squared. What's four squared? Sixteen. So it's sixteen pi plus um, pi times the radius times the slant height. So what's the radius? Four. four, what's the slant height? Five. five, what's four times five? 20. 20, so it's 20 pi. So what's 16 pi plus 20 pi? 36 pi inches squared. And the volume will be one third area of the base times the height. So that equals one over three times 16 pi over one times what was the height? Three. Do you see anything we can cancel? Threes. We're just left with 16 pi. 16 pi inches cubed. And that's it. That's it for level three. So thank you very much. Review. There's a lot of little details in there. Thank you.